In this video we're going to introduce the box layout so that we can um, put more than one widget on our app at the same time and place them where we want. We're going to look at horizontal box layouts and vertical box layouts. It really is quite simple. We set our app up in the same way as normal. We import box layout, we add, add our widgets and then we return the layouts. It, we're going to do this all without the .kv file and in lesson 6 we'll do it with the .kv file. In lesson 7 we'll start adding actions so that one widget can have control of another. So I've got the skeleton of our program here. Um, we've got we've imported the label because we're going to put a label um, in our app. I've imported a button and then I've imported the box layout here that we're going to use. I've created a button, I've created the label. So now let's get to the bit that we're doing today, which is a layout. So um, I'm going to call my layout layout. You can call it whatever you want. And it's a box layout. Okay, I'm now going to do the layout orientation. Now I could have actually put this within um, the parentheses here, but I'm just doing this separately just to show that you can. So we're going to do the box layout, sorry, the box layouts orientation. And we're going to make that vertical. And that's just, that goes within. Um, within quotes there and then to the layout I'm going to add a widget so I want to have the label on top so I'm going to add the label first and then the layout I'm going to add a widget and I want the button to come next so I do that next and then I just return the layout. Now actually that's it. Let me just bring this back to many spaces there. Um, and we can run this now. And there we go. We have our um, our widget. We've got the label above read me. Nothing happens when I click. And I've got the button below push me which gets pushed but it doesn't actually do anything at the moment. We'll introduce that in two videos. I hope you found the video helpful. Um, do remember to subscribe. I've put a link to the code that I've used in the tutorial in the description below. Stay in Infield with Winfield.